Before we dive right into the Net Documents demo, I wanted to let you know that I am Errol Janis, owner of Edward Technology. We provide IT support, cybersecurity, and Microsoft 365 cloud services to law offices all over the United States. And we also have two locations in the Chicagoland area. If you have any questions, my full contact information can easily be found below. So this is NetDocuments. If you don't know, NetDocuments is a cloud-based document management system that was built for law firms. It is a tool that a lot of firms have used to be able to have higher levels of security, to be able to access their documents from anywhere, and also to have a little bit more organization throughout the firm. So as we go through some of these features, know that you know, those are kind of our main goals here at NetDocuments. This homepage, you'll notice here, all of these different headings that you have are going to be totally customizable for each and every one of you. So here within your homepage, you may have totally different things, and then you'll notice all of my documents, all of my matters. They've all got these stars next to them. When I click on them, they turn gold and appear here on my homepage so that I can easily log in and get right to work with anything that is most important to me. If I want to go to the location where all the documents and emails are saved for any given matter, I can come up here to this Go to a Matter button. You'll notice as I begin to type my client's name, it kind of autofills for me. And the same thing goes as I begin to type the matter for this client. I can either do the matter name or the matter number if you use those, and it's going to go ahead and automatically pop up for me there. Inside of this matter, you'll notice something that's a little bit different than what you might be used to. All these documents here are organized under different categories that we call document types. So the idea behind this is that whenever a new matter is created, depending on what kind of matter it is, there will be a pre-generated list of maybe 15 or 20 different kinds of documents that you might save for that matter. So then from the very first time you go to save a document, you tell the system which client and matter it belongs to and what kind of document it is. So the, the document types that you see here, these are all just for the sake of showing it. It would obviously be different for your firm. So you'll notice I can see quickly in you know, all the documents and emails for this specific matter, which is nice because that way uh, you know, everybody is saving everything for this matter to the correct location. Another thing you'll notice, I can switch over to a kind of a list view here. And if I want to, by clicking on this little box here on the left, I can go ahead and see all the details about this document, who created it, who modified it, and when. And I can also preview this document. So if I want to check, you know, see some things within this document without opening the document all the way up, I can certainly do that. Maybe copy a portion of this document and paste it into a new one for the sake of saving time. Another tool you'll notice across all of my documents here, you'll notice I've got these little V's next to them. Uh, the V is just telling me how many versions of this document that there are. So if I click on that, you'll notice it pops up in a window with the previous six versions of this document and also some notes about different things that happened. So if for whatever reason I need to go back and access an older version of this document or I need to compare you know, a certain version to another version, they're all here. And I no longer need to worry about giving that document a new name every time a new version should be created, which can obviously lead to working on previous versions of documents. Maybe someone else from my team thinks they're working on the most recent version. But in reality, I've already edited that document. Again, they just couldn't find it. When they went to go find it, version control can be very helpful. Coming back here to the home page, We'll talk a little bit about CERT and the ability to search for things that you may not know exactly where they are. You know, maybe I know that within the document. It says something that I, uh, I remember, but I don't remember what it's called or where it is. You'll notice from this homepage I can search through everything. We'll go ahead and say, I know this document had something to do with Chase Bank. As I perform this search, it's going to go ahead and scan through the entire content of all of my documents in the system and find the best possible result. So it's kind of like Google in that sense. You'll notice I got quite a few reviews or returns here, obviously because searching for something as broad as Chase Bank is not the best search, but either way you'll notice. I have a couple really awesome tools here once I get into it. If I click on this little box again, I'm gonna see a preview of this document. 
but it actually takes me in the document to wherever what I search for is found. So it will show me, even if it's on page 50, it will take me right there so I can easily look at it and see and know, you know whether or not this is the document I was trying to find. The other thing that's pretty nice, obviously we returning 500 results is not ideal, but over here on the left side, I can go ahead and narrow my results down. So maybe I remember, oh, I know the author of this document was Elliot. I could go ahead and apply those filters and just see documents that were authored by, uh, by that person. Or maybe I could say, I know the specific document was a PDF. Again, I can narrow these results down until eventually I have the exact document that I am trying to find. So it's very, very robust. It also has a built-in tool that makes all of your documents full text searchable. So even scans, PDFs, anything like that. If I go ahead and hit the save button, you'll notice this window that pops up here feels a lot like, you know, your folders and subfolders, but it's actually a net documents window. So I can give this document a name. We'll call this addendum for housing contract. And then over here on the right side, I can save this document one of two different ways. So I may come through here and I just begin typing the information, the client, which matter it belongs to and what kind of document this is. So as I do that, if I were to hit save, now this document would be saved to the correct client in matter under the agreement category or document type, or it might be a little more natural for you to come over here on the left side. You'll notice I can quickly go ahead and see all of my most recent matters. So as I select these, you'll notice the information on this right side is being filled out for me as I go. I can then come through and say, this was a correspondence document, we'll say now. When I hit save, that document is saved directly up into a net documents for me. So now you'll notice at the top, it's telling me that this document is obviously what I named it addendum for housing contract. It's given a 12 digit document ID number, and it's telling me this is version number one of this document. And you can have that information pasted automatically to the bottom of your documents if you want to. So let's say I open this document from net documents and I need to make some changes to it. So I made a few changes. If I hit the save button, it will save over this current version one. But if I hit save, as you'll notice that same net documents window pops open down here at the bottom. It's pre-checked to save as a new version. I can come through and give it some quick notes. We'll say these were cadence edits, which is my name now when I hit save. This document is being saved back to net documents. And this is now version number two. So both of those versions are available for me to, to check out from within net documents. So there you have it. This is just a fraction of what net documents can do for your law firm. Just like every other software company, net documents has just introduced AI enhancements into their software to make your life as an attorney easier while you're practicing. For any questions about migrating to new management software or general IT questions, my full contact information is below.